Hey makers! Welcome to my DIY life hacks video series. This episode is about my soil moisture sensor irrigation controller. But first I guess it would help you to know why I spent like a year of my life on this system and why am I talking about it right now. Well first of all, it's important to know that agriculture consumes about 80 to 90 percent of fresh water in the entire United States. And secondly, I was working with the Social Justice Learning Institute, SJLI for short, in Inglewood. And uh, SJLI actually realized that Inglewood was a food desert. So we needed a way to make urban farming really easy, really accessible, really affordable, and just kind of like cut and dry. Like you install this, that's it, you get your produce. End of story. So I was looking around and doing some research on soil moisture sensors and didn't really find one that fit our needs. So I decided to build my own and I took a capacitive soil moisture sensor. This is a printed circuit board design from the zero characters left .blogspot.com and I threw it in uh, to an RC circuit or a resistor capacitor circuit. And an RC circuit has a characteristic time constant which is the amount of time that it takes the capacitor to reach about 63% of its total charge. So if there's a lot of water in the soil, the capacitance of the sensor is really high and the time constant is really large. If there's not very much water in the soil, time constant is low, it doesn't take very long to charge the capacitor. So that's very simple, that's, that's the soil moisture sensor itself. So now uh, we want to add a component that will actually turn on the water and control our irrigation. So for that, I'm using a 24 VAC valve, and AC means uh, alternating current, which requires you to run an extension cord out to it from your house, so that's not totally ideal. The next version I'm working on will be a DC valve, which can be powered by a battery, and the battery can be charged by a solar panel, so that means the whole system's wireless, and it's powered by renewable energy technology. Yay! Super cool. So for now, I just wanted to get it to work, and so this is kind of for demonstrative purposes. Um, but basically, the pie reads the soil moisture content. If it's below a certain threshold, it will turn the valve on for about 10 seconds. So right now, I have the sensor in a cup of soil. If I pull it out, and dry it off a little bit, that buzzing sound that you hear is the valve turning on. So when I stick it back in the soil, I expect it to not turn on unless I put it in a part of the soil that's wet. So perfect, it doesn't turn on. And the sensor uh, is a super simple program, it just is run on my terminal window. I'm SSHing into the Pi, SSH stands for secure shell, so I'm remotely accessing it. Um, this could be installed outside, it could be installed anywhere within range of my router, and I can access it on my laptop. So that means I can remotely control and monitor the system, which is super cool, because if I install it at a school garden, it means I don't have to actually go to the school to check on the system. Um, so that's about it. Uh, if you would like to build this, please go to my blog, genfoxbot.blogspot.com. I really encourage you guys to at least take a look at it and see how simple it is. So build your own, mess around with it. There's tons of projects that you can do depending on your own needs. So yeah, please let me know if you have any questions and happy building.